In this video, I'm going to show you production using multiple tabs in Reaper. So the purpose of this video is to show you a different way of producing tracks. I have a project in front of me here with three distinct sections. We have a verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, and they're going to sound production-wise very differently. So because of that, I'm going to work on them in different projects using project tabs. So let's hear what we have. I was sent a guitar stem and a vocal stem. Let's hear it. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me, somehow I play me. My mama said, That's just the weight of the world. It's not personal, it's just how it works. Don't be for too long will get burned Cause that's just the way of the world Notice how different each section sounds from the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus and because of that I want to produce them very differently and therefore in different projects using project tabs. So the first thing we'll do is we'll save them in different tabs. So go to File, Save Project As, and it's already saved with the name. I'm going to save a version as verse. Then I'll do it again. I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Alt Control S on the PC, Option Command S on the Mac, and save this one as pre chorus, and do it again, and save this one as chorus. So now we have four versions of the song one we could use for the verse, pre chorus, chorus, and put it all back together into the first project. So now we should open all the tabs. Go to File, go to Recent Projects, hold down the Shift key, open Verse, shows up right here. Do the same thing with the Shift key for the pre-chorus and the chorus. So now we have multiple tabs up here. The main project, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. So now we could produce this song completely separately and put it back together later. So let's start with the verse, which again sounds like this. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. So let's start with a kick part. We'll go to the view menu. Go to the Media Explorer, and I've already set up a folder right here for all the samples I want to use. So let's start with the kick. Now I could right click, go down here to insert into sample player, and choose to insert it on a new track, but instead, I'm going to go up here to the options menu, to default action, and change it. So when we double click on a sample, it's going to insert the media into a sample player on a new track. So now I can just double click the kick sample. It creates this track with the resample matic plugin on the track with a sample already in there. So now we can trigger it through MIDI. I'll put the track into record, make sure it's set to MIDI input. Now if I play, my MIDI keyboard, which you can now see down here, hitting any key, it's going to trigger the kick. So let's play a kick part for the verse. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. And we could stop before the pre chorus. So now I'm going to add a finger snaps sample. Open the Media Explorer, 
choose it right here. We just double click it. It puts it right here. And we could do the same thing. Put in record and play a finger snap part. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. That sounds good. Next, we add a brush sound to go between the finger snaps. Right here. Again, double click it, which creates that track. Put it in record and just record that part. But to make this more interesting, I'm going to add a delay to this to make it repeat. And I saved one down here as an effects chain called panning delay, which is basically a panning delay using parameter modulation and set to eighth notes. So it's going to pan back and forth like this. So let's record the brush part. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. And then finally, let's add some claps on every other hit. Double click it. It adds it right here. Put the track into record, and let's record the clap part. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. And that sounds good for the verse. Let's move on to the pre chorus. We can save this. Go to the next tab and just concentrate on the pre-chorus. I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me, somehow I play me. My mama said. Again, we'll start with the kick. Choose a kick sample. Double click it. It adds a track right here. Put it in record. Let's record the kick for the pre chorus. I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me, somehow I play me. My mama said. Take it out of record. Let's add the finger snaps to this section. Double click it, put it into record, and record the finger snaps for the pre chorus. I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me, somehow I play me. My mama said. Then we'll add some claps. Do the same thing. I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me, somehow I play me. My mama said. Next, we'll add a tambourine, which we haven't added to the song yet. We're just adding it in the pre-chorus. Right here, double click it. It's right down here, put it into record and record the tambourine. I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me, somehow I play me. My mama said, and finally, we add a shaker to the pre-chorus. Right here, double click it, shows up right down here, which adds a rhythm to the pre-chorus that doesn't exist in the verse. I analyze their body language. 
That sounds pretty good for the pre-chorus, so let's save it. Let's move on to the chorus. But before we do that, this video is running a bit long, so I've divided it into two parts. Check out part two next. So that's pretty much it. That's production using multiple tabs in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!